one of the dynamics here with these with the lakes you can see down in the valley and then the glaciers on really steep slopes up there um, this lake may not be large enough and may not have a uh, delicate precarious enough dam the dam doesn't look too bad here but if it were a more fragile dam what's happening up above is you have a piece of glacial ice that'll break off slide all the way down that slope, crash into part of the lake, and release this huge wave then. You know, it's kind of like throwing a cinder block into a bathtub. That's the kind of phenomenon we're talking about, with a huge wave that then washes out the end, washes over this moraine dam at the end, disintegrates it, erodes it very quickly, and then you have the whole lake, you know, just emptying out, barreling down through the valley and hitting the communities down below. So this problem now, what we're... What we're seeing, we don't really have the scientific evidence of more of these um, slopes breaking off and falling down and more instability. We don't have the proof of that yet, but personal observations are suggesting there's a lot of those. And when that ice crashes into the lake, that's when you get the really severe problems. We, we're guessing that in the past, the big outburst floods were also caused by pieces of glacial ice falling into those lakes, the same waves disintegrating the moraine dam and destroying cities like Huaraz, Chavin, and the uh, Canyon del Pato hydroelectric station. Those are all back in the 40s and 50s, but lots of work to keep in, uh, keep in studying the glaciers way up high to make sure they're stable and also study the lakes to make sure, sure they're stable, but then also look down in the valleys below where people are living and where they're settling. It's not just a question of the dynamics and the stability up here, it's where people are living, what kind of um, ability they have for vulnerability and exposure down below. So lots of different issues. Explain what a glass is. A glass. The people use that term um, as a shorthand because glacial lake outburst flood. That's what glass stands for. Is really kind of a mouthful. So, um, and that the glacial lake outburst flood is just when a lake releases from. Uh, this is uh, you know when you have a glacial lake at the foot of a glacier or a pro-glacial lake that's on top of the glacier. When those let go and and burst out of there, that's the glacial lake outburst flood. The fl the glass. Um, unlike an avalanche, gloffs actually go pretty slow, maybe 40, 50 kilometers an hour, unlike an avalanche that might go 200 kilometers an hour. So it's, and it picks up all this mud and debris as it barrels down the valley. I mean, it's a pretty powerful thing. Um, so these are happening all over the world. It's not just here in the Cordillera Blanca, where they've been the most deadly and the most works to contain them, but they're happening everywhere, and there's dangers. I mean, from British Columbia to Nepal to Switzerland and Norway and Iceland and the United States.